Hey everybody, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. Today we have rented Dirt Perfect's 304 Mini Excavator. And we are out on the YouTube Yacht Building site doing the final cleanup and clearing. We're gonna bury some stumps to get them out of the way. Got the Husqvarna 55 out with today, try to pull a little firewood out of it. Probably not out of the speed, just cutting this up to get rid of it. We're gonna take some boulders, do a little bit of landscaping uh, project as well, try to make a little campfire firing area with that, the John Deere 755. And then we're gonna take the Wapa Chapa out, do a little bit of clearing as well. And then finally be able to drive some reference stakes to where we're gonna put this thing. And we'll finish the whole thing off with a nice drone flyover. Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. We've got three or four up here. Dirt Perfect was nice enough to drop it off this morning. We're gonna run that back to the YouTube Yacht Project and do some work. We've got some, this is not a tractor. That's not a tractor, that's a Ranger. The 755 is already back there. We're gonna do some work with it. First, we gotta get these rims out of here. These are the ones I was talking about on the last video. Yeah, they, uh, they came out not too bad. I'm pretty happy with the way those look. Anywho, let's get some tools. So I started a few tools out on the Ranger real quick. Not too much cab space in many excavators. And that's just the way that works. I've got the ditch and bucket with me there. You can see me packing it along. I don't plan on using it today, but in an upcoming video, after we get finished with what we're doing out there, which of course, I kind of get distracted on the way out, I decide to pop this stump real quick. But after today, in an upcoming video, after we get everything cleaned up out there, I'm gonna walk it back down the YouTube Yacht Road project and take that ditching bucket and swab some of those ditches and dig out some soft spots and just do a little bit of general cleaning and clearing on that as well in an upcoming video so we can haul some more base rock in. So if you've got that to look forward to on the channel as well. As soon as we get this stump cleaned up and cleared, we're gonna head back there and do what we actually set out to do. So when we did the first clearing out here, we used Dirt Perfect's John Deere 120 excavator to take out all the larger trees. And we've kind of cut everything off of those larger trees for firewood or burnt it up at this point and some burn piles to get all cleaned up. But all the stumps are left kind of outside around the perimeter. So the first thing we're gonna do is go around the perimeter, grab all these stumps, get them worked over to one central location or one location on the edge of where we're gonna be, get a big hole dug and get everything buried.
whenever we had the D4G out here and we were working on the road portion of this, we pushed a couple of these rocks out. They were only sticking out of the ground, maybe an inch or so. And had I known they were this size, I probably would have just left them. But they came out nonetheless. And we're going to try to utilize these later on in this video for making a little bit of a retaining wall slash bench area for a future fire pit. So that's pretty much everything on the bottom side. You can see there's that first pile we put up right there on the left side of the screen. We're going to get these worked over to where we're going to bury them. And I'm actually going to break out the ladder cam. It has been a long time since I've drugged the ladder out to get a shot, but I was feeling a little froggy today, so I thought might as well try it. So you guys are sitting up on the ladder cam now, and I say ladder cam like it's some big high dollar, high budget operation. All it is, it's the GoPro on the tripod, and the tripod legs are wedged in the rungs of the ladder. There's definitely nothing fancy about it, but I've always liked this shot. I think it kind of tells the big picture, shows the big picture, however you want to say it. We're going to use it quite a bit in this video because we kind of have a big picture to show. But I am curious how you guys feel about the ladder cam shot. Kind of leave it in the comments and let me know. All right, so far so good. Pretty happy with the progress. We have everything that was in this spot here in that hole there. You guys saw that on the time lapse, or hopefully you turned out okay. Had you up on the uh, ladder cam. It's been a while since I broke out the old ladder cam, but today was the day. We have a few more stumps left over from previous burnings back here. We're going to put those in a hole right there. You guys will see that, of course. But before I get those in there, I want to pull. There's a couple things out of here. I want to pull and cut into uh, workable length logs. And then we'll throw those up here with our firewood pile. We don't use any firewood at the house or the barn, actually. Uh, what firewood we cut, it's either for the neighbors to use if they want to have it so it doesn't go to waste. Or we bring it out here and use it for our campfires, which we'll be doing a lot more of since fall is just around the corner. So we'll cut it into lengths and stack it up here. That way it didn't all go to waste. Then we'll get some more stuff in the hole. You guys know how it works. Let's put you somewhere.
How was that for embarrassing? Great. Oh gosh. Man down.
So we're going to use the John Deere 755 with the little non-powered gill pulverizer on the back to get this polished up just a little bit. After this, we're going to head over with the 304 again and move those three rocks around and see if we can't get a little bit of that fire pit area shaped up like we were talking about. looks pretty good for this stage obviously all of this is going to settle as it rains all those voids have to get filled in with soil at some point so that'll all settle like crazy but that's okay because this is the today's goal is just to get it down underground so we can start rotten doing its thing and be out of my way as that settles over time obviously we're going to keep doing more dirt work out here while we're building the youtube yacht so not a big deal there is a pile of dirt right there that's going to go and fill this low spot in we have a lot more tractor work to do today, but the next thing I want to do, because we have the 304 out here, I want to work on this fire circle right here. We're going to dig out the high side, use some of those rocks as a retaining wall slash bench on the high side, just get it leveled up and cleaned up so we can get a fire ring in there and that kind of thing. The whole reason, I know it's a little early to have a fire ring, but one, we come out here and spend a lot of time out here, so we want to go ahead and have the fire ring area done, and two, those rocks are just kind of in my way and I definitely cannot move them with that. So we're gonna do it with that while it's here. Why not, right? Two birds with one stone. Three stones, one, two, three. Three stones. Two birds with three stones. I don't know if that's as impressive, but that's what we're doing.
the whole purpose for this little area, we're just trying to level up a little spot kind of in a circle of trees that we can have a campfire ring out here. We spend a lot of time out here as it is already. We just enjoy being outdoors. I'm sure you guys have noticed that on the channel, hanging out by the rope swing. We'll come out here, we'll cook on fires every now and then, and we'll definitely start doing that more since fall is right around the corner. And even when the YouTube Yacht Project is done, it's still going to be nice to have this little area. And I figured since we have these rocks, they would be the perfect thing to use for a retaining wall slash bench. And for the rest of the way around, we'll probably put in some porch swings in the future, or maybe just regular benches. Either way, it'll make a nice little fire ring area. We're obviously going to have to bring some more material in. Remember, we do the excavation to YouTube Yacht, we might use some of that there. Or we may bring some of that church base rock in and use that since it's pretty inexpensive either way pretty happy with the progress on this portion today and uh, i'd say we could probably go ahead and have some fires out here So we're done with the 304 for this stage of the project. We are going to use the 304 later this week, but that'll be in upcoming videos with probably the next week or two. You saw I brought the ditching bucket out with me, and we're going to work our way back the YouTube Yacht Road towards the main road, cleaning out the ditches and fixing a couple soft spots and moving a couple trees for the next section or next round of hauling base rock. But like I said, that's a future video. The last thing we're doing today, two last things. We're gonna take the 755 and that pulverizer and you can see what we're doing right now, just make a bunch of laps and get the final little clearing and cleanup done. And then we're gonna take the Wapa Chapa, which is our modified bush hog and bush hog, some of the trees down, small saplings down to where we're actually gonna put the YouTube yacht, drive a couple reference stakes and then do a drone flyover of the whole thing.
Okay, so we're gonna drive a couple reference stakes. So be on the lookout for these when we do the drone flights. We're gonna paint these up bright orange, so hopefully you can see them. But this is going to be, and I don't know how else to say it because it is a boat-shaped cabin. That's gonna be the stern of the cabin. And what I'm driving up there, that's gonna be the bow. So we're pulling in here, coming off the YouTube Yacht Road. You can see the pile of firewood to the right. There's the three or four sitting at the entrance to the barn trail. Gonna make our way around this tree. You can see that first stake coming into your line of sight there. Again, that's gonna be the actual bow of the cabin. We'll get lined up and you can kind of start to see where the stern is gonna be. All that big, heavy timber, heavy old growth you see in the background through the trees, that is on the Hoosier National Forest property. Obviously, everything we're doing is on our property, but we are pretty close to that boundary line. Everything on the left-hand side, that's gonna be the parking area. It's gonna be the uphill side, and we're gonna to try to make the parking area the same height as the deck of the cabin, if you will. And then the downhill side, we're gonna to try to make it a walkout. That way you can get the whole side image, the whole view of the cabin, the bow, the main deck, the wheelhouse, the whole nine yards. We're gonna spin back around here. Now keep in mind, if you wanna see what the slope looks like, keep in mind this drone flies perfectly level. So this is a really good illustration. This is probably the best shot to show you what the grade is like. And I think that shows we shouldn't have any problem with the parking, which will now be on the right-hand side of the screen, the parking being the deck elevation and the downhill side being a walkout. There should be plenty of fall there to make that happen. You may see an orange marked tree on the left. That's just a dead tree that I forgot to take out. Somehow I missed that, but that's okay. That's something we can do in the future. It's a pretty small job. This is a little trail to the left, kind of dives down the hill. That actually ties into our neighbor's four-wheeler trails, which everybody gets along up here on top of the hill and everybody kind of shares trails. So that's always nice. Lots and lots of land to ride on up here. And then down over here, I used some marker paint to give you guys a little bit of a visual, but you can barely see it down in the woods there. There is an orange painted stake. That's where we're gonna have them do some soil tests at and see if we can't get the field bed for the septic down over that hill. Which will be the next big step. We are calling them this week. Actually, by the time this video is posted, we probably have already called them and have that scheduled. So that's pretty exciting. We just want to double check, like we mentioned before, that there's actually a septic suitable site out here. That'd be pretty embarrassing to build a cabin and nobody could go to the bathroom. You can see there's the fire pit area there. Obviously some more work to be done, but for the initial stages, pretty happy with it. Overall, pretty happy with where we're at. This is a very, very exciting time. Now we get to go out here, do the official measurements, take some lasers, take some lasers. We're just gonna take one laser, shoot some grave, get some stakes drove, get all the measurements and start really getting this thing marked out. And we are very excited about that. That also means in the very near, near future, we will be revealing the blueprints and the plans for this cabin so you guys can see for yourself what this thing is going to look like. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I hope everybody's finding a good reason to smile today. As always, thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you on the next one.